Helena, how are you doing? And I'm so excited to be here. I always incorporate a lot of like breakbeats into my sets and I think that kind of translates because if you're into hip hop then you should be into electro, you know, so I guess that works. I think I'm going to play a mixture of different styles and genres mm -hmm. and I'm going to lead into a bit more techno for Jeff Mills to come after me, you know, he's on after me, so yeah. So basically I use mainly machines and uh, it's all kind of like jamming, so I switch them all on, start to kind of like play around with some sounds and see where it takes me. Yeah. So I don't really have a plan in mind, I don't have a specific thing that I want to do, I just go and feel like uh, the vibe and see what I, what I want to do and uh, where it ends up and then I record the whole session and see if there is anything in there that kind of like makes sense. <laughs> Well, my, my favorite machine is actually the um, legendary uh, TR-808. I, I bought one about 10, 15 years ago, yeah. and uh, it's still to this day probably my favorite machine. I need to have my hands on, I need the little um, knobs and everything, you know, yeah. like I really need that, but everybody is different and some people probably are able to express themselves better in, an, in a purely digital um, form, whereas I can't really work with that. It's like I need the limitations of the machines to kind of get creative. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it feels great to be on a massive stage in front of yeah. thousands of people, you know, like hands up in the air. It's, it is good. It's a good feeling. But um, if I had to choose, I would probably always go for the small, intimate places because you, you're more with the people and not just playing for them, you know, like you're kind of like experiencing the whole thing together. It feels a bit more like that. I've got a EP coming out on Fabric. They just started a little label. Um, that's going to be out in a couple of months, I think. Yeah, there is like a limited edition uh, out for uh, pre-order already, but like, yeah, it's going to be out in like two months. And um, besides that, a lot of touring. Yeah. It's been a really, really busy summer and it's going to be a busy winter. <laughs> and uh, I'm really happy actually because the past two years have been boring. <laughs> <laughs>